Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you my review and walk around on the new Java that I bought yesterday. I booked this bike in March 2019 and I just took the delivery yesterday itself. So the number is still pending. And the first thing that you will notice is I have uh, made a custom made seat cover for this bike with extra padding. And this is much softer than the original factory fitted uh, seat. The first very thing that you notice in this bike is the lot of chrome. The original Java had a two stroke engine but this one has a huge 293cc four stroke engine that delivers 27 horsepower which is much um, better than the old Java. Now the <clears throat> most important thing that you notice here is there is a huge radiator and this is the only part which is plastic apart from this part of the bike which is also plastic. But from these two things, every component in this bike is solid steel. Everything is steel here. There are no plastic components. Now, <clears throat> I just want to do a quick compare over the old Java, the new one. Now, the first thing that you will notice here is this bike has a double down tube cradle type frame, wherein the old java had a, a single down tube cradle type frame the old java didn't had uh, gas or shock absorbers that this bike has the old java had a carburetor but this one has a fuel injection now coming to the kick levers the old java used to have a kick lever that also used to develop as a as a gear lever but this one is just a gear lever. There's no kick in this bike since it is a fuel injector. Now each and every component of this bike is very, very highly detailed. I especially like this horn with a small Java logo in it. It's pretty nice. And there's a lot of Java branding here. You can see the, even the headlight has a Java logo here. And these lines that you see are all handmade. The same thing goes on the tank as well. These are not stickers. The initial test drive bike that I saw had uh, stickers rather than hand painting. So it was a bit confusing for me, but still I took a risk and I'm very satisfied. Now this gold lining also matches with the speedometer, which is also in golden color and the fuel tank lid, which is also in golden. That's a that's a added advantage. I mean, the original um, um, bike that we saw uh, during the test ride had a normal um, fuel cap with no logo on it. <clears throat> Coming to the back side of the bike, you can easily see the indicators mounted on the mudguard, so you have to be very careful about it. The quality of foot pegs is also very high quality. The only challenge that I saw is, um, you know, while you are pushing the bike with your legs, you might hit, your legs might hit on these foot pegs. So you have to be a bit careful. I am sorry for the back end noise that we have here in the parking lot. And in the background, that's my, that's my car video I have already uploaded please don't mind now this is a single channel ABS version so it has a huge drum brake at the back wheels it's a huge huge drum brake I think this very close to the um, to the Royal Enfield and 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 few people have started comparing this with the Royal Enfield but I would say uh, it's not fair to compare these bikes with Royal Enfield because uh, Royal Enfield is a vintage bike and it has a classic engine but this one is a is a classic bike with a modern sports bike engine so these two bikes are of a different category altogether you see this
the quality of switch gear is also fantastic and it's very very uh, you know reachable from the uh, from the fingers so very high quality this is the engine kill switch now here is the key of the bike all that you have to do is put it here turn it on the speedo goes from around and it's ready to fire up now if you want to lock the handle you have to remove the key and turn the handle that's it and it's locked so this way you can lock the handle now your bike is safe beautiful so I would say Mahindra has done um, a great job by launching this bike in India and I wish them all the best. I am very happy riding this bike and very soon I am going to upload a new video on a test ride and I would request you all to subscribe my channel and let me know what needs to be improved. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day.